monday.com tutorial how to use monday.com as a complete beginner hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on monday.com and how we can use monday for software development project management crm and more so let's get started first what you have to do is you can go to monday.com and you will land on this platform right here Monday is a famous project management software that allows you to create your own workspace and then we can add our team members and manage our team and our task. We can also use monday.com for CRM and we can, uh, you know, manage our team for software development, creative and designs. I any niche you are in, you will be able to use Monday. In order to get started with Monday, it's really easy. You just go to monday.com and then you can click on get started. There is a free version for Monday available, so there is no no credit card required and you can create an account with your email address so you can create an account with your email address or sign up with your google account once you sign in or sign up to your monday this is where you will get you can see this is my dashboard on monday and i'll show you as a complete beginner how you can get started and how to create a workspace how to create boards and then manage your task so first of all on monday we have our own default workspace if you want to create your own workspace for your different teams for your different companies then you can do that so i'm gonna start and create a workspace first so click on add workspace and you have to give your workspace a name so let's call it software made easy then we can select if it's going to be a private workspace or a closed one open or closed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create open workspace where i will be able to add my team members then we can also add a logo or an icon for the workspace but for now i'm gonna not do that and we can add it later so I'm going to click on create workspace and there you go. I have my own workspace now. So what I can do next is I can create different boards in a workspace for my different purposes. For example, this is your company and now you can create one board for sales, one board for your management, one board for your marketing. So we can just create different boards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new board right here for project management. In order to create a board, you just click on this add option and then we have new board, new document, new dashboard and choose from a template. So I'm going to click on new board. So I just have to give my board a name. Let's call it project management. Again, I can select if it's going to be private, main or shareable. And then we have to select how we will be managing. I will be managing my task or my team or my budgets or my campaigns. So I will be managing my items or we can also say task or project. I'm going to click on create board and it will create the simplest board on Monday. And it will create the simplest board on Monday. So you can see right here, this is our board on Monday. And now we have it. I can now create different groups and each group can have its own different items. So first of all, when you create a board on Monday, you can see that we have different views available. So this is like a table view. I'm going to add more views. Click on this add button and let's go with a Kanban view. I prefer a Kanban view because it's a, like a board view and it helps me manage my task better. We can add another view. So there are different views available. You can select the one you want. We have a chart view, Gantt views, card views and others. So I'm going to add another one which is going to be a card view. So it will look like this. Let's add another one. It is going to be a Gantt view. So I have added views for my project on Monday. Now I'm going to switch to the main table view and now we can invite team members to our project so to invite people you will get the invite option right here click on invite and now you just have to enter their email address what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just enter an email so this is the email address and i'll just enter and send an invite to this person on their email address and they will be able to join my board right here so this is how we add our team now i have different team members added Moving on, we have different integrations that we can add to our Monday as well. So if you want to integrate any kind of application out there, you want to add your Gmail, you want to add your MailChimp, your Trello, Typeform, Slack, Outlook, Gmail, then we have Asana, Jira, Zendos, like any, any, any software in any of the categories, we can add them to our Monday in order to customize our Monday experience. So if you are into CRM, then you can actually integrate your CRM platform directly to Monday. So this is how you will set up your monday.com board. Let me show you how to create an item. So this is my group one. Let's just call it, for example, I will be managing my tasks for week one. So I'm just going to type in week one. Now we have to create an item. So I'm going to open it up and show you this is how we create a task or an item first of all we have to give it a name 
So let's just call it task one. And now I can assign this task to a team member. Click on this assign option and it will show you the team members that you have. Let's assign it to myself. Then we have file option and activity log. So what I can do is I can add different tags to my item right here and I can also check the status. In statuses, what we can do is we have default status such as done, stuck and working on it. So let's say that my task one, a team member is working on the task. So what they will do is they will just, you know, update the status here that they are actually working on this task. And then what they can do is once they're done, they can just select the status done and I will be notified that, okay, this task is done. This way I can just create as many tasks as I want. I can create more groups right here and then add as many tasks then I can assign it to different people. For example, let's assign to this person right here. So we have different people that we can assign tasks to. Then we have dates that we can add. And here I can add new dates. If you want to add more to your Monday task right here, for example, right now, I just have assignee options, status and due date, but I can add more. Click on add column and you can select any column from here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add files so that we can also upload files. Let's add another one, which is going to be priority. So it will show me the priority for a task. I can say if it's high or medium or low priority. Then I'm going to add another for our dependency. So what we use for our automation when one task depends on the other task. So this is how you will set up your board on Monday. It's really easy to use and we also get different filters and I can search and filter my search with these options and then we have automation so we can also automate and create different automations on monday such as when a person is whenever the task is being edited the other person is notified or maybe whenever there is a due date this person should be notified so we can create automations as well that help us save time and get more productive more on to monday we have notifications right here in box and we have my work in my work i will be able to see just the word that is assigned to me and in workspaces what I can do now is I can switch between different workspaces and I can create more than one board as well then I can invite member from this option as well and then we have this menu right here if I click on it it will allow me to explore more products on Monday such as CRM we have dev and marketer as well and then we have our account right here so if you want to sign out or if you want to get more information and if you want to get more options such as the recycle bin the admin the teams and if you want to log out we have the option right here and then we have apps marketplace get mobile app mobile app is also available and then we have change Theme. so what i can do is i can also change my theme to a darker theme i prefer a darker theme personally and we also get like a theme on monday but this is how you will be using monday.com for your project management and for your crm i gave you a beginner's tutorial and now you know how to get started with monday.com how to use it as a complete beginner I hope that I was a big help to you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to Software Made Easy.